Hello, thanks for joining me today. It's Laurel. I'm out with my backpack and my sketching kit for a little nature journaling hike. Here is my kit for winter time. I have a bundle of colored pencils, all sorts of colors, a sharpener for a couple different sizes, and it catches the shavings, an eraser, just a regular old pink eraser, and a kneaded eraser to help out when I need something more specific, and a regular pencil. The sketchbook I'm using is a six by nine by Daily Rani, and it's not my favorite. Um, it doesn't work for watercolor, but for ink or for pencil sketches, it's pretty good. So I'm just gonna carry this one with me. I'm gonna head out to pick a spot where I can set up to sketch, and we'll see if I can find a spot that is out of the wind, that has some um, brush or something close to the ground that's interesting where uh, wildlife can hide. Um, I'm walking down to the lake shore along here. Let's we'll see if I can find a section that is pretty quiet out of the wind. The reason I'm headed down here is we have a couple areas of open water which is rare in January and I'm noticing there's lots of birds flying along the shoreline. You can hear the woodpecker overhead and it looks like a whole bunch of tree sparrows or perhaps juncos that are visiting this spot looking for stuff to eat. Might be a good spot to set up. Um, when I'm out on a winter's day, I tend to look for an area that faces south so I have some sunshine. Um, that's not helping me today, but I'll also look for an area that is protected from the wind so I can hang out and sketch for 15, maybe 20 minutes um, and then be able to keep moving after that. Here's what I noticed on my walk down. I've got a little feeding guild. A bunch of them flew off already, but these little juncos are still feeding close by. So I'm taking a second to watch them and just listen for what else is in the area. Again, as I go pick my spot, I'm gonna scare off some of these birds. There are some flying off along the cattails. Yep, going to find a hiding spot found a spot here to set up. You can see behind me, I have tall trees all around. Um, if you look up, there is some scrubby stuff, good hiding spots for birds. I'm facing south, and in order to get comfortable here, I have a sit upon that I folded out. And that makes it a little bit easier to sit for the 15 or 20 minutes that I plan on sketching. Um, if you have something like a camp chair, that can be really nice also. Uh, I don't have one with me today, and since I'm not going to be in this spot for super long, this should be totally fine. I will get my kit out, and I will start sketching. As I'm waiting for visitors like birds to return, I'm sketching in the landscape and also a few of the man-made structures like the dock. This gives me, like... A good outline for my sketch is kind of a little plan I put together, and that landscape can be just as interesting as who is visiting it. Right. Uh, <clears throat> I made observations for about 15 minutes or so, and I'm getting chilly because there's no sun right here and the wind is picking up a little bit, but let me show you my page. So oh, just a little sketch uh, of what I'm seeing out in front of me. I recorded some information um, right when I got here. There was a little feeding guild of sparrows and I was able to listen and watch and notice that there were tree sparrows and um, dark-eyed juncos, northern juncos, uh, feeding together. Might have been a couple others, but I didn't get to see them. But I made a note of that and added that into my sketch. Um, let me flip this around. Since I have, I have this other page, and I might save that to do a couple of closer sketches of the birds that I am hearing. I made notes of what returned. It was very quiet once I sat down because I was speaking to the camera. After it quieted down, I paid attention to who came back first. Today I had coworkers who checked it out and it looked like a deer went through the ice. Our ice is very inconsistent this year. So I added that little gray spot into the ice, made a note of it. I might do a little distance from shore estimate. I might add in a little number about that. It looks like it's about 
a meter and a half maybe. So I'll put that into my notes. But um, I've been hanging out 15, 20 minutes once I get this all packed up. Uh, I'll put my colored pencils away and pack up my sit upon. My butt's getting cold, so it is time to move on. This is something you can do. You can hike to get warm. You can bring a warm beverage with you. Um, it's nice to go to a couple different spots in winter just so you can warm up instead of doing a longer duration in one spot. But again, super fun, beautiful day. I'd often miss being out this time of year if I was just waiting for super warm weather. And this is a way to get out and continue your observations and your sketching even during the cold season in the middle of That's winter. Uh, I hope you tune in to my next video because that one I'm gonna be developing some of my notes. I'm gonna explore some of the birds that I noticed in that feeding guild. So in this case, I'm gonna try sketching the junco and the tree sparrows that we're feeding. Thanks for joining me. Until next time, have a great day. Bye.